A community in need. That's how the Bibb County Board of Education members are explaining a $500,000 investment for next year. Tonight, our Glory Ruth Finney spoke with United Way representatives and Bibb County board members about a continued partnership for the community. Gloria Ruth. Greg, board members hope this investment will help lift families up, putting students back in seats. Daryl Morton, Bibb Schools Board of Education member, says in underserved Macon areas like Pleasant Hill and Fort Hill, student services are heavily needed at L.H. Williams and Burdell Hunt Elementary Schools. And in partnership, United Way's Read United program is aiming to up reading and student literacy as a push toward United Way's mission, disrupting the plight of poverty. Morton says that program has been around for a while and there is sufficient data to show its success in schools. I appreciate the commitment United Way is making to serve that population. I just want to make sure that uh, we're getting basically the bang for the buck. And that bang for your buck? Well, it's paid directly by taxpayers. And today, Bibb County Schools approved a funding renewal amount of $502,000 to the United Way. But Morton says that money doesn't just go into a United Way general fund. He says it will be used to help advance local schools. I don't know that I'd seen the amount of progress that I wanted to see, but I wanted to hear that we're looking for progress. We expect you, with that money, to make a difference in that community. Shelton Land, Vice President of Education for the United Way, says that community has a heavy gap in services, often affected by or facing food insecurity, homelessness, mental health crisis, and poverty. Because those things affect uh, students' learning as well. That's where community schools come in at, to align systems, to align partners that are providing the services. It's United Way's strategy framework for improvement involving community partners to tackle those issues so the teachers can teach and the students can focus on learning. It be something as simple as some students may not have alarm clocks at home. And so if the simple fix is I'm not coming to school because my mom's phone didn't go off, maybe we can do an alarm clock drive. Morton says he hasn't seen enough proof of progress, but having just finished the first year, there isn't data to compare. He says when the data comes in later this year, he's going to be taking an up-close look to make sure taxpayers and the community are getting that best bang for their buck. Now, one way Land says the United Way addressed student attendance last year is by providing students with rain gear. It's something you might not think about. They found that on rainy days, students wouldn't come to school simply because they didn't want to walk or wait for the bus in the rain. Live in the studio, Gloria Ruth Finney, WGXA News. All right, thank you, Gloria Ruth. Some important things to think about.